Hi everyone, it's Miss Goldman, and this is our last lesson of Eureka Math for this week. Yay, we made it through a week. You made it through a week, parents made it through a week, everyone made it through our first week of this. So good for you. Also remember, if you cannot re see a picture, you can look at the PDF version. Just remember, you can't write on that one. But you can look at it so you can get the idea of what the picture should look like if you're printing it out please make sure you're printing out lesson by lesson and you are also if you're printing it out having to upload it to me through google classroom or on class dojo so i can give you credit for your work that you did so remember this was a live lesson earlier today but you may have missed it and that's all right or you want a refresher on how to do it for the homework part. So let's get started and remember at any time you can pause. Hit pause or replay. So number one says fill in the chart. Each image is one whole. So I'm doing, I did A. So there's two total number of equal parts. There's one total number of equal shaded parts. The uniform is one half because remember a uniform is the top number is always a one and the denominator is always the total amount of equal parts so for this one it's two and remember when I'm saying the top part is always a one we know that is the numerator so then I wrote one half and the fractional form is also one half so now I'm gonna let you do B C D E and F all on your own. So just these ones, all these, you're gonna do those. If you need more time, just pause this. I will give you a heads up before I change the slide. And I am going to be changing the slide right now. So if you need more time, just hit pause. So as you can see for B, there are three total number of equal parts. There is, for the total number of equal parts, there's one, the uniform is one third. The fractional, fraction form is one third. For C, the total number of equal parts is four. The total number of equal parts shaded is one, the uniform is one fourth, and the fractional form is one fourth. For D, there are five total number of equal parts. The total number of equal parts shaded is one, the uniform is one fifth, the fraction form is one fifth. For E, the total number of equal parts is six. The total number of equal parts shaded is one. The uniform is one six. The fraction form is one six. For F, the total number of equal parts is eight. The total number of equal parts shaded is one. And the uniform is one eighth. And the fraction form is one eighth. So not too hard, I hope. For number two, it says Andre's mom picked two favorite cakes for his birthday. The cakes were the exact same size. Andre cut his first cake into eight pieces for him and his seven friends. The picture below shows how he cut it. Did Andre cut the cake into eighths? Explain your answer. So I want you to write, did Andre cut this piece of cake into eighths? Then I also want you to do number three. Two of Andre's friends came late to his party. They decided they will all share the second cake. Show how Andre can slice the second cake so that he and his nine friends can each get an equal amount with none left over. What fraction of the second cake will they receive? Now I want you to remember one thing with this. All right, we know that it's Andre, and we have 
nine friends. So that doesn't mean you're gonna split this into nine pieces. You actually need to split it into 10 pieces. I'm gonna give you some time to work on both these problems. All right, and I am going to go over the answer. So if you need to pause it, you can. And here you can see for number two, I said no, Andre did not cut the cake into eights. Not all the pieces are the same size. And for number two, you can see I made the pieces of cake equal as best as I can on a computer and they will each receive one tenth because there are 10 people at the party. Well, guess what? That was the last problem for this lesson. I know, super fast, who could believe it? But it's Friday, so it should be fast. So now you can do the homework section of it right now. You can also be doing IXL, you can do Zern, you can do Prodigy, you can be doing extra math. I'd love to see your extra math scores going higher and higher and higher along with everything else that you're doing. You, I also made that new program for you called Happy Numbers that you can be doing. Also, for those who want to be doing more things on the computer, you'll see I made you a code account so you can do some coding. Just let me know if you need your username and password. I also have created a special account for you with Applied Digital Learning from Google. So it teaches you special lessons on how to become an even better Google expert than I know you already are with the computer. Again, if you need help, you can watch this again. Let me know if you need anything. And I'll see you Monday. Bye.